everyone, it's Kira, the former Life in Amsterdam blogger. When I moved to Brussels, everyone expected me to start a Life in Brussels blog. Obviously, did not do that. But now with the threat alert, a lot of people ask me, how is life in Brussels? It's uh, more quiet than normal, although um, schools are closed. And that seriously increases noise level in our house because then my five-year-old daughter is at home. Yesterday I went to do shopping at the supermarket and there were there's security guards there. That's a minor change. Went for a run in the park, no change there. The kids' concert and other concert were, were, were cancelled, that was a pity. I think it's great the way the Brussels police is handling the situation. Um, what was interesting when a car was supposed to, what well, was it towed away uh, in front of our house because we had a delivery of our, some furniture, uh, they came with two police cars with sirens and a tow away truck, and there were lots of policemen, at least four, with big guns. So certainly the police isn't their normal self. and. Um, uh, more focused at uh, preventing uh, any uh, attacks. The public is just carrying on life as normal. We're actually getting more social. People are more meeting up with one another at their own homes. So that's a good thing, but in all seriousness, uh, we could have really prevented this situation way back by being more loving to one another. You know, we cannot make certain groups of people or even individuals feel inferior we're all equal we need to be more tolerant to each other and even the dutch people regard themselves as so tolerant well i've lived in amsterdam for over a decade and i know my gay friends are not walking hand in hand anymore i know that people look down on anyone with an arabic uh, background and that's when you create anger have a look at the superb tap talk it shows you the world from someone an isis or another kind of uh, terrorist group. They are also, in their opinion, uh, protecting their family. Yeah, the tech talk is a real eye-opener. Again, let's love each other. Thanks for watching. Bye.